Researchers just discovered a new wolf snake species that eats reptiles. Deep in the southern ocean, a death ball sponge traps prey with tiny hooks. And what new animal's been named Chewbacca? These are disturbing new species discovered in 2025. I didn't even know wolf snakes existed, but apparently there's a new one, and it's named after the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin himself. This brand new snake was discovered on Great Nicobar, which is basically the southern tip of the Nicobar Islands just off the coast of Sumatra. Scientists named it Irwin's wolf snake. The team explained why they named it after Steve. In their words, his passion and dedication to wildlife education and conservation conservation have inspired naturalists and conservationists worldwide, including the authors of the paper. This new snake is shiny black and just over three feet long. It hunts lizards, frogs, and small mammals, and it might only live on this one island. Now, that's pretty cool, but it does mean it's super vulnerable. The scientists who found it are already calling it endangered just because its home is tiny and humans can mess it up pretty quickly. Deep in a handful of South Korean caves, a research team led by Kyung Hoon Jung at Jungbook National University came across four new species of pseudo scorpions which are basically tiny arachnids that look like scorpions from the front because they have pincers, but they don't have a stinger, and they're usually only a few millimeters long. These ones belong to a group people call dragon pseudo-scorpions because their jaws are oversized compared to the rest of their bodies. They are blind, pale, and adapted to total darkness. The team found them during field surveys, then preserved the specimens in ethanol so they could run what they called integrative taxonomy, meaning they compared everything like their genetics and physical features to confirm these were new species. Each one lives in a single cave or karst system, and the study points out that, quote, each of these new species is different, both in their genetic makeup and how they look, even though they share the same general cave-dwelling lifestyle. South Korea has over a thousand caves across the Taebaek and Sobek mountain ranges, and a lot of them haven't been studied at all. So if four new species showed up in just a handful of them, I mean, who knows what else could be lurking down there? Far at the bottom of the world, ocean scientists have been exploring one of the most remote parts of the Southern Ocean. And man, have they found a lot of weird stuff. Earlier this year, a team aboard the research vessel RV Falcor collected nearly 2,000 specimens around the South Sandwich Islands and already found 30 new species. They found this carnivorous sponge that they're calling a death ball sponge, which is covered in tiny hooks it uses to trap its prey. Not at all how we usually picture sea sponges. Then there are armored iridescent scale worms, three new species of sea stars, and a whole bunch of previously unknown crustaceans like isopods and amphipods. Actually, the team thinks they may have discovered an entirely new family of amphipods. But even with all this, the Southern Ocean is still mostly unexplored. Michelle Taylor from the Ocean Census said, to date, we have only assessed under 30% of the samples collected from this expedition. So confirming 30 new species already shows how much biodiversity is still undocumented. Up in the hills of India's Eastern Ghats, scientists just found a brand new skink. That's a type of small, uh, smooth lizard. This is its official, hard to pronounce name. Now let's put it right here. It's also called the Deccan Gray Seal Skink. What makes this a big deal is that it's the first new skink like this found in the area in more than 80 years. Researchers spotted it in two protected nature reserves. Notice how long and skinny this thing is. It almost looks like a snake, but it has uh, little legs. It's a funny looking creature. It also has a kind of see-through lower eyelid. Scientists checked its DNA to make sure it really was a completely new species, and it turned out to be different enough from its closest relatives to earn its own name. This skink is only the ninth one of its kind ever described, and it's the first one from this area in decades. Finding it helps scientists understand more about how lizards' limbs and toes can change over time. Some will lose digits, some are almost snake-like, and this one is kind of somewhere in between. On Malaka'i, a Hawaiian island, scientists just officially described a completely new bee species called Hylias pamako. They actually spotted it back in 2024, but it got officially described this year. These bees are completely black, no yellow markings like other bees. The name comes from the Hawaiian word pamako 
blanco, which means mourning or grief. Because the bees are entirely black, it's like they're dressed up for a funeral. These things are tiny, probably make their nests in cracks under rocks or boulders, kind of like other Helios species. This is the first new bee found on Malacca'i in more than a century. So far, it's only been found on a small section of the island's eastern slopes. When researchers were working near the Jarua River in the Brazilian Amazon, they came across this tiny frog, brand new species of frog. This is its official name, and it was only officially described this year. The thing is barely the size of your thumb, but the colors make it impossible to miss. It looks really cool with the copper reddish brown body and the blue lines running down its back. It's part of the poison dart frog family, so like its relatives, it's toxic. The poison comes from what it eats, mainly ants and mites packed with chemicals, which it then turns into its natural defense. So far, this new frog's only been found in one small area, which means anything that happens to that patch of forest could wipe out the species before we even get to understand it. In Cambodia, a team of scientists went exploring the limestone hills near the Thailand border and ended up discovering three new gecko species in one night. These hills, called karst landscapes, are these crazy jagged limestone formations full of caves and tunnels, and according to snake specialist Pablo Sinovas, you can quite literally go into a cave, collect a few specimens, and most likely, there'll be some that are new to science." End quote. It was quite the adventure. The team had to navigate over sharp rocks, hidden holes, and they had to watch out for venomous snakes as they climbed through the caves with headlamps. They also came across scorpions, whip spiders, and frogs along the way. They carefully photographed the geckos, frogs, and snakes. And then the animals were tagged, measured, and had small tissue samples taken to figure out if they were truly new species. Out of about 40 animals collected that night, three geckos turned out to be new. Sonovis is hoping their work will convince Cambodia to protect these hills, saying, would you turn Angkor Wat into cement? You wouldn't. Well, some of these species should be considered national treasures as well. And if you think three new species of something is nuts, how about 40? Scientists just dug up a whole bunch of new moths, 40 species nobody knew about all from the Philippines, but they didn't even have to travel there. These moths were collected more than 30 years ago and had been sitting in museum collections in Berlin and Copenhagen. They just hadn't been studied yet. They belong to the snout moth family, which is super diverse but often overlooked. Some of them look almost identical to each other, but thanks to genetics, researchers could tell they were totally separate species. Dr. Theo Ledger from a museum in Berlin said, the Philippines is one of the world's biodiversity hotspots, home to many endemic species found nowhere else. That's why documenting biodiversity in this region is so urgent before it's lost." End quote. They worked through tons of specimens, and over half turned out to be completely new to science. The research also shows how much could be hiding in museum collections, and of course in the remote mountains of the Philippines. Large areas haven't been explored there at all, so there are probably even more moths and other species out there waiting to be found. And there's now a newly discovered animal officially named Chewbacca. Deep down in the tropical western Pacific, scientists finally got around to officially describing a coral. Meet Erodorgorgia Chewbacca, a deep sea bamboo coral named after everyone's favorite Wookiee. The species was formally described in 2025, but it was actually first spotted on video back in 2006 off Malaki'i, Hawaii, second time that place has shown up on the list, and again in 2016 near the Mariana Trench. These corals can reach up to four feet tall. Thousands of tiny polyps cover their branches, extending their tentacles to catch plankton. When they're feeding, the branches actually look kind of fuzzy, which of course adds to the Chewbacca vibe. In a bamboo forest in southwestern China, scientists just recently came across a tiny spotted frog that immediately caught their attention. After a few trips to Shishui County back in 2018, the team realized they'd found something special, a brand new species, now named this, or the Shishui leaf litter toad. These frogs are small, only about one and a half inches long, with bumpy skin and slender limbs, and their eyes are multicolored, a mix of copper and silver. They perch on leaves about four feet off the ground near streams. So far, they've only been spotted in Shishui County, which is around 1,250 miles southwest of Beijing. With all that said, I've been your host James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, next time.